Hello, Jan Nurse and Sip Boys, and welcome to Train Simulator 2021. I had a stroke there. Uh, uh, which is a. Uh, well, it's obvious in the title, isn't it? It's a train simulator, that sort of stuff. So, yeah, we're going to go from. We're going to do. Is it Peterborough? I said we're going to do Peterborough to. Oh, where do I want to go? No, I feel like going to London to King's Cross. And I feel like driving the Armstrong Powerhouse HST. So we're going to do just that. I don't know which variant do I want to do. Dynamic lines. Oh, no, that's the crappy version. Yeah, I don't have the branding patch, do I, for some of these? Damn it. No, we'll do first Great Western. Now we're gonna start. And oh my goodness. Oh, London Midland. Yeah, they need to update that. Avanti Rest Coast. I still miss Virgin Trains Rest Coat. I said Virgin. I say Virgin Trains Rest Coat. Right. Oh, I'm in. Oh, uh, okay. Now I have to read the manual. So turn in the master key by pressing shift H, shift W. Uh, shift W. Now I put it into I think forward. And then do that, and then what else do I do? Oh, oh yeah, we don't have any branding on the HST. Oh yeah, the graphics don't look that good either. I probably don't have them on Max or something. Uh, but yeah. Hang on. Oh, had I turn off tail lights? K and Control K. Okay. So now I can flicker. I can press turn. Let's turn that off. Oh, Jesus. Oh, wow, that's bright. Now let's go in the rear power car. How do I go in the rear power car again? Oh, I don't know. Hard help. Okay, tail lights on in the back. Okay, that's the main thing. Uh, You know what? Let's go in the free cam. Got a class 365 next to us. Uh, oh, it's 43158. AWS. Ah, oh, it's because I pressed W to go backwards. Okay, I'm going to open the doors. Oh no, I should probably stop pressing the uh, WASD keys. Oh. I can't wait to mess around with this a lot more. Is it me or is it moving slightly? It is moving slightly. Uh, hang on. Okay, right. The door should close any minute now. Yeah, that's the signal for the doors closing. Now, can I hide the HUD? The HUD's really annoying me. Yeah, I'm going to hide the HUD. Hang on. Yeah, I'll have it at that. Okay, let's do that. Oh, listen to that MTU engine go. Okay, there we go, boys. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Right, hopefully we shouldn't fuck this up too badly in the Armstrong Powerhouse Class 43, although this is me we're talking about, so anything can happen, really. Alright, here comes the rear power car. There's a lady walking towards me. Oh, look at that. 
Look at that thing go. Right, now let's jump on the board. Aw, oh, okay. Right, so which seat do I want to sit in? So dark. Here on the East Coast Main Line. God, I, I can still hear the engine like warming up in the background. That's a nice detail. But yeah, this game originally came out in 2009 as a rail simulator. And it's just been receiving yearly updates ever since. Although it has two succe uh, succeeders, Train Sim World and Train Sim World 2. Which are arguably better. But the sounds of the HSTs are... Okay, oh, yeah, I've got to check for that a lot. Yeah, the sounds arguably sounds worse. Oh, shit. Okay, I need to slow down. God damn it. Speeding! Yes, I know. Ah, careful! Okay. Right, King's Cross Platform 11. 74 miles away. Okay, we can do this. Okay, 115. Right, not Shrive. Here we go. Oh, is there, any, is there any way we can get a light in here? It's so dark. Like, I can make out nothing in this train. Let's go outside. Yeah, I can still make out nothing. <laughs> oh, what a fun train to be in. Funny enough, uh, this thing's been retired. Very, very sad. Very, very sad. Uh, <laughs> oh, look at this. Yeah, I need to get more routes for Train Simulator because I plan to do Train Sim related videos from time to time. To just sit back and relax and not die in a train. <laughs> By the way, this, H this specific HST, there is a free version of it that comes with the game depending on which route you buy. Or if you got the European assets. Uh, actually, no. Saying, no, that it won't come free then. Oh, my bad. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm thinking of pre-2000 and... 13, aren't I? Yeah, god damn it. Yeah, my bad. Yeah, uh, the Railworks version of the HST is not the best. It's not realistic at all. It doesn't have realistic sounds. Uh, there's an MTU, VP185, and Valenta version of the Class 43 available at armstrongpowerhouse.com, which I recommend getting. But you have to have the European local assets pack, otherwise the uh, enhancement pack won't work. So if you're going to get this get the European locos as well, so it'll actually work. Right, okay. You can speed up to 105 now. 125 over there. Actually, let's go to notch 3 and wait for the 125. You know what? Let's do a standby of the train. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Isn't that just a beauty? Or, 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 or am I the only one who thinks that? Okay. Uh, <laughs> Alright, back in the train now. Uh, let's go into first class. I can't go into first class, I forgot. Oh, funny enough, I just got a message from Katana, who I was... I was actually in the stream earlier, but his internet lagged out to the point where he couldn't even play stick fight or tf2 so now i just decided to head off and record some train simulator stuff yeah funny enough i've got like three videos because of uh, oh oh that's flashing oh no uh what do double yellows mean again oh there's another double yellows ahead Uh, I'm going to slow down. Uh, wish the break. What is the break? It's this button, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Just have on step one. 
Okay, step two. Because I got a feeling. Well, why, why am I getting in and not sweat? No! Are you kidding me? Oh, god damn it. My, cha my train's in emergency mode. God damn it. Okay, right, okay. No, 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 it's fine. It's fine. We can... We can re... We can redo this. I can't even tell if the textures are low. They Oh, they are low, I think. Might have them on low settings. Oh, no. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna... Crawl at it. Uh, okay. Okay. You know what? Okay, let's do that. Oh, listen to those Mark III coaches. Like, if you've ever heard a, a HSC in real life, you would know that they've captured this perfectly. There goes my train. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I'm going on the slow line. Oh my god, where? Are, what is this? Let's get it off. Let's get it to notch two. Actually, no, notch two is a little too slow. Let's go notch three. Okay, 60 miles an hour. Oh my god, what is even. Where even am I? I'm not in Peterborough now, that's for sure, but where? Even on, and now I get green signals, okay. Oh, it goes down to 40 and then to 125, okay, I've got to go to 40. Okay. Can I self-lap? I have no idea what that means in train terms. Okay. We're just going to have to keep it under 40, and we should be fine. Should be fine. Okay, under 40. Okay, now we just got to keep it under 40. Somehow. Uh, I can see a grip. I can see the signal I heard, actually. Oh, there's a marker coming up. There's some spooky houses. Uh, some cars going down, actually. Uh, I cannot see a thing. I can just make out the electrification. And the poles and stuff. But that's about it. And the trees. Is that a church over there? I don't know. No. I don't know. No, it's a tree. Okay. Right, we're on the main line now. Okay, no. Not no. Okay, now we can go up to 125. Okay, finally. We can get going. Oh, here's a coupling menu. Yeah, that's something you don't want to mess with. Okay, now as our engine starts chugging away, we can head down the main line. We're still 65 miles away from King's Cross. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. I am. Um, let's do an over headshot of the train. No, let's do a side, box shot, side shot of the train. Nice. Am I, I just realized I'm the only train running, I'm pretty sure. Like, I've not seen any others. Oh, bit of lag. God, for being a 2009 based game, it sure does lag a lot, this game. Even on the best hardware. Okay, we're going up to 68, 69 miles an hour. 70, aww. I missed 69 miles an hour, bring that back. 
Okay, going past another signal. Pretty much everywhere. I noticed we're going up a hill. We're... I just noticed we're making a slight climb up a hill or something. Huh. Right, I can see the next signal. And I can see the signal after that signal ahead. Uh, basically, just a shit ton of signals. Okay, by the power of the Intercity 125, we shall make it. In time run. Oh my god, look at those people. Look at that person. Terrifying. Terrifying images. Okay, what other views are there? There's, let's see, free rear one. And that one is. Oh, this one. That one. Useless. Uh, this is the free cam. She's so foggy. Uh, let's go down and explore, actually. Oh, I'm so used to... Okay. Uh, oh, my God. Wait. This... Oh, my God. These trees. Oh. Uh... Okay, I want to get back on my train. Okay, breaking, breaking, breaking. Oh, God damn it. Oh, lag. A lot of frame frame rate issues. Ah. Uh. Okay. Okay. Shut up, AWS system. Okay. Oh god, I'm not gonna get it under forty in time. Oh god. Oh god damn it. No. Oh, we got class three six five. At least we've seen something. Ah. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's do this. Come on, we can get to King's Cross. I know we can. We've got this, boys. Not girls. Okay, uh, right, we've got two more signals coming up. Got two more. I think, are those houses in the background? I'm pretty sure they are. I'm going to assume they're houses. Because that's what I want to believe. Uh, okay. I just realised in Train Simulator, you're not doing that much. You're just sitting there, letting the train do its own thing. Whereas in Euro Truck, you're at least in control all the time, and it. And it's. And it's oddly more relaxing that way in Euro Truck than it is here. But I can't blame this game too much. It's 2000 and... Well, I can't blame any train simulator, really. To be honest. But, yeah, I'd expect... expect there to be a bit more to do. While I just sit here in the... In the train, just... Just occasionally intervening. So we're not intervening. There is something coming up. Since Neot up slow reverse. Oh. Okay, it's going up to 80 at least. I can take 80. Okay. Okay. Uh more houses. Alright, let's go on the outside of my train. Let's, let's, uh... What's this? Window hanging or whatever. Whatever this is called. Where you just hang your head outside of the train. Ooh. There's a signal. Oh, look. There's the station itself. Oh, uh, where do I want... What do I want to do in the meantime? So I, thought, hmm, I don't know. I might end the video soon, actually, because there's there's really not much going on. You're, you're just really driving. You're just occasionally intervening and letting the train do the hard work by itself. So of intervening, I'm gonna increase the notch there just a little bit. Oh, the frame rate is not that. It's not the best around here. Okay, right. 
80 miles an hour now. Okay. Let's go up to Notch Free. So what is that? Is that a church? No, it's a, it's a plant. Oh, I'm dumb. I'm a dumb Yandere. Oh. Well, gotta slow down back to 75 miles an hour. This is fine. Okay, it's only 75 though. Could be worse. Let's look at that. Jesus Christ, that's big. Okay, let's switch seats so I can just look at this. It's not that bad, actually, for 2009 graphics. I will say, when 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 it works, it really works, this game. Or simulator. But when it doesn't work, eh, it really doesn't work. When it, when it doesn't work, it really doesn't work. So, it's, it's one of those hit or miss situations. Uh, to be honest with uh, Train Simulator. I f definitely think Train Sim World would, is a lot more better. My only complaint about Train Sim World is the sound of the trains. And yeah, that's my that's my only complaint. Everything else about it is just beautiful. You can... The, the trains, the world, see, the scenery, you can walk around freely. It's just great. Okay. Nice. Always a nice thing to do in Train Simulator. Just let your HST... Well, <laughs> let your HST go. Or just let your train just drive past you. You know what? I'm done giving the fuck about speed limits. I am going to go how fast I please. As fast as I please, I probably should have said that. Oh, look, 365. 365, nice. Nice. Okay, under the bridge. Through the station. The Sandy Station. Oh, nice. Oh, I should be on the main line, but I'm not for some reason. That's why I got the slow speed limit. You know, I'm just gonna keep going fast. It's not like a speed limit or a sharp turn can stop stop me or anything like that. Actually, okay, let's do that. Oh my god, I'm miles away. Can I change anything? Can I change the junction to get on the main line? No, I can't. Oh my god, oh, that, that sucks. Well then, I guess we're speeding until the end of time. Oh, and there's another train station. Right, I almost reached the 40 mile mark. I oh, you know what I need to get? I need to get the Class 91 Enhancement Pack for this. Actually, I need to buy the Class 91 from Steam before I can even think about getting the Enhancement Pack. Damn it. No, it'll be worth it though because Armstrong Powerhouse do amazing stuff. Like they put you more in control of the train, I'd say. Okay. Oh, there goes the train. Oh, nice. Oh, we're going fast now. All right, let's let's go. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back. And now, let's just rate. Rate. Let's... Oh, look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. Not as beautiful as the Valenta screen, but... Still, still beautiful. Anyway, we passed the 40 mile mark, so I'm going to end the video here. <laughs> Ah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Ta-ra.